Houston possession. King swarmed and brought down. Deidre Sinat first on the scene for U.S. King, look out, pressure again. He's taken down. How about an update on Penn State, Ohio State? Here's Chris Cotter. Now trails by seven from the 25, and finally, USF makes a play on mobile cards. Michael got off return, guys, so he sets him up after a 50-yard return. King is in trouble, and he's going to be dropped. Bruce Hector. King. A loose pressure, not going to get away. Flags are thrown. He is knocked down by Deidre Sinon. And all Let's give the NFL running back is different, but he's got the talent, the size, and everything you need. Got a chance to get a look. Pressure comes, and Skipper goes down. Just engulfed in those big defensive tackles. The two of them are so key. Yeah, you're going to see the size come down the middle here. Both these guys, just under 300 pounds, talking about Sinat and Hector, but the athleticism. It's been that fourth man in the four-back rotation, this time sniffed out by Deidre and Sinat. Yeah, that's what Deidre lines up in the shotgun. Option right. And here comes Augie Sanchez, the senior middle linebacker who just seems to be everywhere for USF. Sheminek looking for the slant. It's covered, and he goes down. Deidre Sinat with his first sack of the game. It's a loss of 10. And as Quinton Flowers is the, Sinat is the story on the defensive side. Well, I'll tell you, it's great when you can rush three guys and get this kind of pressure. If you look at Sinat, this guy just absolutely runs over the center. He's this a, is where he just, he's a football player. He sniffs things out. Great play. Sheminek taken down again. It's Sinat with another sack. It's a loss of seven. <laughs> Kiki QT in the slot, top of the formation. Shimanek pressure down he goes. Deidre Sinat with his third sack of the day. 